In this video, we're going to be talking about how to minimize your risk for a carpal tunnel if you're doing a lot of typing. And so what I have here is a keyboard, and I think a misconception a lot of people have is that, like especially like this one with the Ergo keyboard, you've got this palm rest right here, and then you've got these feet on the back of it. So people think, oh, I'm just going to get this thing as elevated as I can. That's a big, huge no-no. Um, basically, with your carpal tunnel, which is going to be on your wrist here, you've got eight bones in this wrist. You've got tendons that run through it, and then you also have your median nerve that comes right through here. So what happens when you get carpal tunnel syndrome is that doing a bunch of repeated actions and you're exercising these muscles all the time. So you've got your flexor or extensor muscles right up in here. So these are the guys that lift up your finger to do all these keystrokes. So when you do that, you are exercising that if you feel this outer part of your arm right there. And so what happens when you're putting your elbow on a palm rest like this is that you're increasing the angle between the forearm and the wrist itself. And so as you increase this angle from anything other than neutral like this, you are decreasing the size of your carpal tunnel. And so decreasing the size of the carpal tunnel is gonna result in more friction between all these tendons that go up into your fingers. And so because of that, you're more likely to induce inflammation and that inflammation is what presses on that median nerve that results in you getting carpal tunnel. So how do you avoid this is number one, make sure no matter what kind of keyboard you have, you actually don't want to have any of the legs up on it because having legs on it is going to make you want to rest your palm on the keyboard like this. And then if you're sitting at your desk like that, you've got a terrible angle to work with because that's decreasing the area of that carpal tunnel. So take away the key, uh, the legs from your keyboard. And then I know it's gonna to be tough initially if you're used to this like I am, but basically what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you're basically holding your hand at a neutral position like this over the keyboard. So you do not wanna rest your palm on that palm rest. And it might be a good idea to just take the palm rest away. Um, but you know, this is a very important exercise is you're basically just keeping your hand as much in the neutral position as you possibly can so that you do not reduce the size of that carpal tunnel because that is the worst thing you can do to um, increase the inflammation you'll get. So keyboard should be as flat as you can reasonably make it and going the other way isn't great either. So if you're typing like this, like if your hands are, you know, too short uh, or, you know, you're having to put any angle other than neutral into this, that's also not good. So flat and then you're also going to be holding your arm and your hand above the keyboard when you're typing. So just keep practicing and reminding yourself, do not let your palm rest on this thing and make sure you're holding up your hand in this neutral position. And that's the best stuff you can do to minimize the risk of carpal tunnel. So I hope this is helpful. Thank you all for watching. Hope everyone out there is doing well. I'll talk to you guys next time.